All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. Got another question. So I want to answer. All right. So the question came was, how do you set your adjustment layers to affect the layer that you want it to affect? So for instance, I have here this background layer. It is orange. And then on top of that, I have a pattern fill layer. And on top of that, I have another pattern fill layer. Okay. So let's say I want to add some adjustment layers to this um, pattern fill layer one. I'm gonna go down here and add an adjustment layers. So let's say I add, um, let's do hue and saturation. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna go up here. It's gonna show up under my properties panel and I'm gonna make some changes to um, this layer. Well, I can't see it because this layer is on top of it. So I'm gonna hide that layer so I can see what actually is happening. So this is it without the layer, what it looks like on just those two layers. And, um, and so this is what it looks like with it. So maybe I'll make it maybe a little bit greener and I'll boost up that saturation all the way. And I'm like, okay, cool. So and then I'll add, um, oops, let me have this. I'll add another adjustment layer. Um, this time I'm gonna add, what do I wanna do? Mm, let's get bold, let's do posterize. <laughs> All right, so I added a posterized layer to it, adjustment layer to it, and you know I could kick up, change the level um, of the posterization if I want. Maybe this, this is kind of, kind of psychedelic, right? All right. So what's happening is though, adjustment layers affect whatever layer you put it on. So in the case of this, um, we put it on our pattern layer. So it is affecting the pattern layer and every layer below it. So that means this background layer is also affecting. If I were to move this pattern two layer below, so you can see, it's also affecting that layer. You see that? So it's affecting this layer, it's affecting this layer um, as well. So if I put a blend mode on the pattern layer, um, let me put like maybe multiply so you can see how um, it's gonna interact. We'll do color burn, okay? So now you can see that that orange is coming through. You can see that um, this pattern that's on part uh, layer two, pattern fill two, and you can see pattern fill one, and you see these adjustment layers are affecting each layer, because that's it without um, the adjustment layers. And then with the adjustment layers, it's affecting all the layers. But let's suppose though, I only wanted this to affect this pattern one layer. I didn't want it to affect pattern two and I didn't want it to affect the background. That means I would need to isolate it, right? So I'm gonna clip it and that's what it's called. I'm gonna clip it into pattern fill one. And the way that you clip it into it, notice the adjustment layers are on top of that layer. I'm gonna hold down Alt if I'm on a PC, Option if I'm on a Mac, and then I'm just gonna hover in between. And you'll notice when you hover in between, it turns into this square with this downward facing arrow. And what that means is, hey, I'm gonna clip this into this layer. So when I click on the mouse, I've clipped it in. So again, I'm gonna do that again because um, people miss this step. So step one, I'm gonna hold down the Alt or Option key. That's all I did, didn't do any mouse clicking whatsoever. Step two, I'm gonna hover in between the adjustment layer and the layer that I wanted to affect and um, step three, I'm gonna click the mouse button and it clipped it into that layer. So right now it is only affecting that layer. But now this posterized one is affecting all the layers still. So I can clip multiple adjustment layers into one layer, so watch this. So with posterize, I'm going to do the same exact steps. I'm gonna hold Alt, hover in between the layers. Then I'm gonna click on the mouse and now it is only affecting this layer. So all the layers underneath are still independent layers of each other. Now, let's say you wanted to move these around. You're like, oh, you know what? I don't really want it to affect the pattern fill layer. I think I want it to affect pattern fill two layer, right? And let's say you're like, oh, you know what? Let me rearrange this and see what this looks like. So you move it down. And then notice when you move the layer down, all of the adjustments um, that you made or the clips they disappear, right? So what you need to do is decide where you're gonna clip it. So now I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna clip it here. Now I'm gonna put a, let's see, I have a color, color, color burn um, adjustment layer on this one and I have multiple, okay. I just wanna make sure I can see through everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clip by also holding Alt 
hovering in between. When I see the, the square and the arrow, I clip it. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing for closer eyes. So I clipped it. And now you see that they are clipped to this layer and that's the layer that it affects. It doesn't affect everything below. Um, so that's how you set up your adjustment layers and that's how adjustment layers work. And that's how you would um, move the adjustment layers around um, if you needed to. So it's pretty easy. It's really just hover, alt click, boom. And you have your adjustment layers only affecting that. So hope that helps. Um, and then let me know if you have any other questions. All right, so until the next video, ta-ta for now.